a board has 16 squares as shown in the figure. Out of these 16 squares, two squares are selected at random. Then find the probability that these two selected squares have no side in common. So this is a very interesting problem from the combined concept of probability and PNC. We have to find the probability that any two randomly selected square will have no side in common. So instead of finding the probability that they will have no side in common, first we'll find the probability that they will have a side in common. And then the required probability will be 1 minus probability that they have a side in common. So let A be the event that any two randomly selected square have a side in common. So here basically we have to find the probability of A complement. So the required probability will be 1 minus probability of this event A, where event A is that the two selected square have a common side. So this quantity will be 1 minus and then total number of ways of selecting any two square from the 16 squares, this will be 16 C2. And now we have to find that in how many different ways we can select two squares such that they have a side in common. So there are four rows and four columns, right? Now let us consider this row 1. So we have four squares. Now, if we select a square 1 and 2, then we'll get a common side. Similarly, if we select a square 2 and 3, then we'll get a common side between those two. And if we select a square 3 and 4, then again we'll get one common side. So, basically, there are three different ways in which you can select two squares in this row R1 such that they will have a common side. Now, there are four such rows. And in each row, there will be three different ways of selecting a pair of squares such that they will have a common side. So if you select two squares row wise, then total there are 3 into 4, 12 different ways. And same thing you can do column wise. For example, in this column, if you select a square 1 and 5 or 5 and 9 or 9 and 13, then we'll get a common side. So column wise also, total there will be 3 into 4 different ways of selecting a pair of squares such that they will have a common side. So the required probability will be 1 minus this number and after the calculation you will get this thing as 4 by 5. So the correct answer for this problem is option E.